Amazon's long-rumored venture into the smartphone industry has arrived in the form of the Fire Phone. This unique handset features plenty of bells and whistles as well as tight Amazon integration to provide an experience far different than your typical Android device. Can it set the world ablaze or does it merely spark? The Amazon Fire Phone is based on Android, but it would be a stretch to call it a true Android smartphone. The handset runs Amazon's Fire OS, the same forked version of Android found on the retailer's line of Kindle Fire tablets, and an extreme departure from the Android operating system most are familiar with. Fire OS features a look and feel all its own, putting Amazon's content and online store front and center as part of a rotating home screen carousel. The apps and games are familiar, pulling from Amazon's Android App Store, but the Fire Phone does not officially support Google Play or other Google services. This fact alone could be a major deal breaker for those looking for a more traditional Android device. While the overall design of the phone is rather nondescript, featuring a glass rear accent panel and rubberized casing, users will quickly notice four extra camera lenses peering out from the Fire Phone's front bezel. These cameras have been specially designed to track a user's facial movements, using the input to drive dynamic perspective, a major bullet point of the Fire Phone's marketing materials. Dynamic perspective creates a 3D effect that allows users to virtually peer into, rather than at, their smartphone display, adding a layer of depth to the phone's user interface and allowing users to peek around menu items to reveal additional options or tilt the device to scroll through a web page. The result is not as intuitive as Amazon would make it out to be, but it does add some intrigue to the user experience. Still, dynamic perspective comes across as a slightly gimmicky feature that can thankfully be toggled on and off depending on user preference. The Fire Phone features a fairly standard set of hardware buttons with one compelling addition, a dedicated camera key that doubles as a shortcut for the handset's Firefly feature. Firefly is launched by long pressing this hardware key, allowing users to scan items with the phone's camera or listen in on a song or movie using the microphone. Firefly can also be used to add contact info from a business card. It offers options like the ability to start a radio stream based on a song you are currently hearing, but let's not kid ourselves. Firefly's main goal is almost always to get users spending more money on Amazon's endless catalog of products. As a device tied to Amazon's library of digital content, media is a central aspect of the Fire Phone experience. The handset's 4.7-inch 720p display is perfectly adequate for streaming video, but a lack of Full HD resolution will be a disappointment for some. Likewise, a Snapdragon 800 processor performs solidly, but the handset can feel a bit sluggish at times, especially when launching the dynamic perspective lock screen. The 13 megapixel camera provides an average photo experience with the capability to produce some pretty nice shots, but it was a bit of a struggle in less than ideal conditions. Perhaps the biggest disappointment though was the Fire Phone's 2400 milliamp hour battery, which had us keeping a charger at the ready during our time with the handset. While features like Firefly and Dynamic Perspective add a layer of sophistication to Amazon's first attempt at a smartphone, the end result is still a device that feels a little half-baked in more ways than one. With its underwhelming hardware and overwhelming reliance on the Amazon ecosystem, it's hard to recommend the handset to anyone in the market for a true Android smartphone. Those looking for a different experience might consider the Fire Phone, but it doesn't deliver enough for its $600 plus price tag to be a true game changer.